there was just no way for us to really social distance and ensure that all the kids kept masks on at all times of the day. Well, it was something business owners around the world dealt with during the pandemic. Four years later, those businesses now are either shut down or have the lights on once again. And that includes a roller rink in Roswell. Alika Medina shows us how that couple was able to put those wheels in motion and reopen. I just had no idea that that many people were waiting for us to reopen. Cheapskates Family Fun Center, a roller skating rink, reopened this weekend after they were forced to shut down during the pandemic. There was just no way for us to really social distance and ensure that all the kids kept masks on at all times. Of the, that, that was very difficult to try to do that. After four years, they were able to get things back and rolling, but the owners say it wasn't so easy. Roswell has very limited things for kids to do. And this place, when we, when we were at the height of our business, is when it hit. At the time everything shut down, they didn't know how long it would be until the state would reopen attractions. So they started to renovate and repair the rink, getting new lights, renovating the concession stand, and even the roller rink floor. But in the midst of the renovations, everything opened up. And then we just had some setbacks. You know, we had a flood on the floor after we had just redone it. So we had to do that again. And it was just a, a time money, uh, facing some obstacles with inspections and permits. Uh, of course, they wanted everything updated. But to no surprise, they had a lot of people on their first weekend back open. Appreciate all the support and all the people that come out and have a good time. Many of the people that were in here were, you know, kids that were 14 and 15 when we closed and now they're adults and it was wonderful to see them all come back. In Roswell, Alika Medina, KOB4.